So it's your lower back where you're feeling the pain, right? And so if you were to put a number on that, 10 being the, the most painful and one being the least, where would you say that that lower back pain is right now? About a seven or eight, I would say. Yeah. About a seven or eight, so quite high. Okay. So what I'd like to do with you today, Claire, is uh, something called rapid tapping. I don't know if you're familiar with the rapid tapping. But what we're going to do, we're all energy, okay? So anytime there's a, a pain or a discomfort, it's the energy is not flowing the way it should. There's some kind of block. So it's like an electric circuit, right? If there's a block, it doesn't flow the way it should. So what the uh, rapid tapping does is it taps on to the Chinese acupuncture points, which you're already familiar with because you're getting acupuncture. But we're going to do it specifically for letting go of whatever it is that's causing these blockages. Okay. How does that sound? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I'm just going to demonstrate and then we can do it together. So basically it's just three fingers and we're going to tap at the head and you're going to tap hard enough that you feel, feel the tapping, but not so hard that it hurts. Okay. And then we're going to do the different points. So we're going to do at the temple. There's a groove there in your temple. Okay, right in there. In between the eyebrows. On the cheekbone. And then just right around here. We can do this so we can get the whole section. But there's a little groove there that we're targeting. But if you use your whole hand, you can get the whole section. Okay. And then the last part is you're going to squeeze your elbow. You're going to take a deep breath and I'll let you know what you can say as you do that. Okay. Does that make sense so far? Yes. Okay. So we are at a seven or an eight at this point. And I just want you to think about just for a moment, that pain just for now. And we're, we're not going to stay there too long. The pain in your lower back. Okay. Three fingers. Let's do it together. And I'd like you to say, let it go. 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 Okay. Good. And we're going to yeah. go over here to the temple. Just feel in that groove. It doesn't matter which side of your face you do it in. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Do I continue saying the let it go? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Good. And now let in between your eyebrows. Let it, let it go. 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 And let's do a full hand. Give it a good slap. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Nice squeeze here. Deep breath in. Peace. 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 Okay. And what number is it at now? About five. Five, good. So it's gone down. Great. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let it go. 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 Peace. And what number is it at now? Last time it was at a five. Three. Three. Good. Okay. Let's do it again. Let it go. 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 Peace. I don't feel like there's 
how much pain I'd probably say like a one and a half. Great. One and a half. Okay. So our goal is to get it down to zero and it's been progressively going down. So we're going to do it again until we get it down to zero. Okay. Okay. So let's do it again. Let it go. 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 At the beginning of our tapping, you said it was a seven or an eight, keeping the same position. What number is that at now? About a one and a half or something. Okay. I still feel like a niggle. Okay, oh. good, good. So it's gone down quite a bit. Um, I'd like you to take a little sip of your juice again. <clears throat> and um, recognize that you have no use for this pain anymore. Would you agree that it's unnecessary to have this pain? It's useless and unnecessary. Yeah. You can definitely have physio and not feel pain because the pain is useless and unnecessary. Would you agree? I, don't, I think I'm thinking, well, it was painful, but I hear what you're saying. It's like you don't need to hold on to it. You need to hold on to it. No, it's not 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 purposeful at this moment in time. It's not. No, because sometimes our body is telling us that it's giving us a pain because it wants us to be aware of something. It's it's the way that it's trying to talk to us, right? Yeah. Um. And yet, you recognize this. You recognize that whatever you need to learn, whatever lessons have you know have filtered down from your past experiences you've recognized them now i know that you're you're in this industry you're a healer you recognize them and so you don't need this pain anymore yeah. you've learned whatever it is you you need to to learn from it Absolutely. and so that's why i'm asking you do you feel would you agree that this pain is unnecessary and useless Absolutely, yeah it's not certain yeah. Of it. yeah and so are you willing to reject that pain Absolutely. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. You don't want it anymore. So let's do this again. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Just scream at it. Let it go. This useless and unnecessary pain. Let it go. Useless and unnecessary pain. Let it go. Good. Let it go. Let it go. This useless and unnecessary pain. Let it go. Useless and unnecessary pain. Let it go. It's useless, unnecessary pain, 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 let it go. Peace. What number is it at now? It feels like I could sit and feel comfortable. Does that make sense? Good. I don't feel like it doesn't feel like it's there. Good. Feel like... Good. So we got it down to zero. Excellent. Good work, Claire. Because you know what? Our bodies already know how to heal. It's just mm -hmm. we need to activate it. So when you think about it, when you cut your finger and it, it there's this open, gaping cut and it's bleeding. We don't have to do anything for it to heal. It just heals. We stick a Band-Aid on and next thing you know, it's healed. And our bodies are designed to heal themselves. Just a matter of activating it. Hmm. Sending that message that I reject that pain. I reject it. Yeah. And it's powerful. This actually, this rapid tapping is what healed my headaches. I have suffered from headaches for the last 40 years. Wow. This simple quick method actually cured my headaches as soon as I start to feel a little bit of a tinge of a headache which I believe comes comes in because of an emotion that comes up for me yeah. 
um, because our emotions are so tied to our bodies, I recognize it. And I immediately go and I do three or four rounds of tapping. We did one, two, three, four, five with you. I do three or four now because I'm used to it and the headache doesn't intensify and it just goes away. So what I encourage you to do is when you start to notice that, you know, a little bit of pain, it's starting to creep in, become aware of it. Because sometimes what we do is we just get on with all the work that we have to do and we just try and ignore it, but just become aware of it, recognize it and talk to it and say, I reject it. It's useless and unnecessary. If, if it's trying to tell me that I need a, pray, a break, I will just take a break instead. I don't need the pain. Right. to get the message does that make sense absolutely yeah absolutely okay cool cool okay so what i would encourage you now claire um after we get off the call is just to write down some of these things that have come up for you um and you might notice that once you put pen to paper the subconscious mind might even help you further to give you more insights as you're writing and yeah. just to revisit that um you know, I don't know if you like journaling, but just to even just write down some things that are coming up for you, um, you know, even things that you're grateful for, because I find that if we focus on the things that are working in our body that feel good, it's a great way to send a message to the pain that, you know, you're not paying attention to that because it's useless and unnecessary. <laughs> then you could see this bookcase. Most people have books in the bookcase. Mine's is full of uh full of journals and this is um beautiful which is just basically full of little notes so this is my my, my gratitude thing and I was just I was just speaking to a client actually about this one of it is like learn to drive an automatic car um so I put like positive things in there uh once beautiful. I've done so yeah so I just need to share something with you because now I'm tearing up a little bit as you showed me that Okay. Um, I don't know if I know you follow me on social media. I don't know if you've seen what's been happening the last little while, but butterflies have been so prominent in my life over the last two weeks. And I had noticed that you have a butterfly behind you, yeah. you a picture of a butterfly. And now you just held that up. And um, for me, it's just really, really powerful. So I just wanted to share that with you. Like, I am seeing butterflies in the most unexpected places. And it's just confirmation that, you know, there's so much more than just this 3D body of ours. You know what I mean? It's just... you not see my podcast artwork. What's that? Have you not seen my podcast artwork? I have not, no. Butterfly. Oh my gosh. Well, my logo is butterfly as well. <laughs> and that just came to me like it didn't, it didn't have that meaning for me. I mean, I knew butterflies were transformation and so that became my logo. But now the, for me, it's not just transformation. It's just spreading our wings globally so that we can make a change. Because as you know, one butterfly can change things clear across the globe. And I think we are the butterflies. We are here to make those changes in the world. You know? Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Awesome for you what's that i'm glad that's been a comfort for you it really has thank you i think we were meant to connect today for many reasons how things have just come up yeah 